Okay, so today I'm going to show you how you modify a standard GoPro chest strap, which I've got here. And we're going to add, add a uh, mount for it to fit um, onto your smartphone. So you can, you can, you know, film from your chest basically, hands free. So that was the aim. Uh, when I was in Bali, I actually uh, uh, was had like uh, I forgot to do this modification before I left and I actually um, had to use my gorilla pod which was really not very neat and uh, didn't work too well so um, I thought when I come back from Bali I'll, I'll do this and I'll show you how it's done so let's pull this part and I'll show you all the uh, parts necessary and how to put it all together so let's get started and get stuck into this little uh, modification okay so we have a chest strap here and uh, standard GoPro chest strap. I'm not sponsored by GoPro. This isn't a sponsored segment or anything. It's just the equipment I use. And I'm just going to show you how how I modify things. So I've got a standard GoPro chest strap there. Leave that there for the moment. Now what we're going to use is uh, another thing that I'm not sponsored by, but I like using is a uh, camera case system called Quadlock. So you've got the Quadlock case. This is for my iPhone 7 Plus. Which I'm using to film, film the table here. So I'll put that there. Uh, and also, you buy an accessory that goes onto the uh, camera tripod because it's got like a uh, a uh, threaded, uh, was it quarter inch thread? I think it is uh, for the standard camera mount. And that piece there, and also another piece that you buy from eBay, which I'm gonna, which you need to modify. This is a just a tripod uh, mount for the GoPro so that usually goes on the tripod mount the GoPro up here so we'll do that first so what you do so we're going to change it from this to this and all you need to do basically is cut off this little bit here and once you cut off that bit you'll end up with something that looks like this and you can see I just cut it off right here and now that will mount onto the GoPro chest strap so I'll we'll show you here so it goes in here always a little bit fiddly especially at arm's length but we'll get there line up the holes Get it lined up it's usually the fiddly part especially when you haven't got the correct lighting it's shiny on there uh, okay so I'll put that in there one fiddly boy. All right. So it goes in like so. Screw it in, and you've got yourself a mount there. So now the next part you do is you uh, find a a thread. Now I've got this like a box of uh, screws and threads that I I use all the time, and I just found a, the correct one that fits in, the correct uh, pitch. And also, what I did with mine, I put a rubber washer here as well. And uh, so that, all that does is it just helps when you put this part on. It just helps sort of grip. You know, it doesn't work its way loose. So you could actually just leave it like that. And so, but the thing is, see how this is not completely in the in the right plane, right? So it's just sort of. Uh, trial and error you could actually move the thread and everything but I thought I'd go to the next level up and uh, put on a ball and socket joint so what we've got here is a Manfrotto 484 not sponsored by Manfrotto just I just use a lot of Manfrotto stuff and you can thread that on here and then you can actually get everything all nice nicely lined up so you can line that up nice and straight there and you can put the uh, put the quad like on the top and wherever that fits if it's not square you can undo the ball joint and straighten it up so it's nice and nice and straight and level and you can put it wherever you like that's the beauty of the ball, ball and socket joints. Uh, there we go, just sort of fiddle around with it. It's a bit hard because I've got a bit of arm's length here, but 
you get the idea. And lastly, you just put the uh, put the quad lock quad lock case on, and this is a finished product. So that basically uh, we'll go full screen now. Uh, let's have a look. So this will mount on your chest now. So you have that whole thing there. Mount it on your chest. That goes over your shoulders. Actually, let's put it on. Let's put it on. Goes around a little. Sometimes can be a bit fiddly. And you've got yourself a professional looking rig. It clips in there. So you can sort of use this, um, and what you do is you just can put it where you like. You can sort of have it face level, you can sort of have it up here, move it down a bit. That's the beauty of having all the little uh, little joints on the uh, on the GoPro, and then you know, I've got my ball and socket here, and I can just move it around where I like. So anyway, guys, I hope you like that. I hope this is of some use to you guys that are doing doing video vlogging and. Wanting sort of, you know, hands-free, that's all nice and hands-free now. And uh, put your camera in here, put your smartphone in there, and away you go. And the beauty about this uh, quad lock is it's got points like you put it 45 degrees to take it off, but you put it on, and you can have it uh, horizontally there, or you just flip it around oh, to the vertical, uh, although it probably is not going to work. Because I've got the thing in the way, yeah, unfortunately. Oh, no, I think it will just work. There you go, that'll just work so you can do Instagram as well on the uh, horizontal. I mean, the vertical, me. Eh? You can have it vertically or horizontally. So there we go. So I hope you like that, guys. Give it a thumbs up. I've also got some other videos uh, I'll put there so you can click on those on how to mount uh, GoPro to a bike if you've got an SRM. Uh, power meter and things like that. So just look out. There's a playlist on how to I do little how to things So if you want some sort of technical Technical uh, advice and technical solutions to problems. I'll put them in my how to playlist and I hope you like that one and I'll see you next time. Cheers